So what piece of advice would you give to people who are changing grades? So I've changed grades a few times and I think that sometimes when teachers think of switching grade levels, whether it's from first to third or seventh to fifth or even just third to fourth, they can become a little overwhelmed with the idea of changing grade levels and can act, almost feel like it's a brand new career that they're taking on. And so I think it's important to think of the things that do carry over. I think in a lot of ways, good teaching is good teaching is good teaching. And although there may be, you know, of course there are subtle nuances that are different each year and there, there's different content that we need to tackle each year. Um, I think that a lot of teachers can take what they already know about good teaching and transfer that over so that they're not having to reimagine an entirely new year when they change grade levels, but instead just need to think about the particulars that need to change and switch. So I know you have a totally different take on this. It is funny because my advice is completely opposite, which is maybe not completely opposite, but I was thinking about the fact that when I changed grades, I didn't do enough thinking about what would be different. I kind of assumed that good teaching was good teaching and I was surprised in both cases. So I moved from first to second and with many of my same students, I just changed my room and I was surprised to find that they had changed a little bit and I hadn't thought much about the change. I think I would thought about the new curriculum and that kind of thing. And then when I moved from second to kindergarten, it was really a big change. And I found myself in both situations having to back up and do a little research. So I think I would advise teachers to do some research on the front end and really look into what the children are going to be like. And when I moved to kindergarten, the great thing once I realized that I needed to do it was that there were all these blogs out there that people had written. Um, so I read a bunch of kindergarten blogs and I went back to Chip Wood's book, Yardsticks. Really started thinking about why these kindergartners seemed so different from students I'd taught before. So It's a great point because there are going to be differences. I mean, there are differences just if you stay in the same grade level from class to class. But certainly, you know, going from second grade to kindergarten, you're really going from the end of second grade to the beginning of kindergarten, which is a pretty profound switch. Yeah, and I think I didn't realize that. So I, I think maybe the balance between our two, just hold on to what you know, but don't assume yeah. that you don't need to find out something else. So between the two of us, we've got good advice. Exactly. Maybe.